Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Welcome everybody. This is, not kidding you, probably the fourth or fifth video that I have started at Salvation Army in the last month. There has been nothing vintage. I had overheard just with books a while back. Um, a lady had a big shopping cart full of books, you know, an employee there that was going to go put them out. And another employee pulled out what they felt were all the vintage books to do something with. And I couldn't hear what they said. So whether or not you'll ever see this video, we'll have to see. But if they're pulling vintage stuff to now go someplace else, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Here we are. Everything looks pretty stocked, but not anything that's too vintage. They've got a cute little pitcher that has no handle. I was contemplating this. It is plastic turtles. It is a turtle clock, but it's got some scratches and they went $6 and I don't know if it works. It's battery operated, but it is if you want a kitsch, 70s kitchen, that would be for you for sure. These are super cute but they both have chips on them. So we're gonna skip those. So I've got a few vintage things, so that's good to see, but um, yeah, if nothing is, these aren't vintage, but I like them for the color. If everything that's vintage is broken, that's not gonna help us either. Okay, now this is amazing and beautiful. Oh. Wow. That would be a booger to um, ship those to somebody. <laughs> but it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It doesn't have a maker's mark on it by any means. They only want $5 for it. Can you imagine like putting it in your um, garden? You know, you could plant succulents in it. It does have a hairline crack. I don't know if that crack goes all the way through. No, it doesn't go all the way through. It's just a big old leaf bowl. I think I'm going to pass though. That is really, really large. So <laughs> that would be a lot to just keep and wait to try to sell it. Nothing else vintage there. Cute stuff. Oh, what's this little girl? She's a possibility. She does have a little chip on her foot. Huh. I just don't know. I'm not quite sure what's inside of her. It's like a red wooden spool of some sort. She's cute, but she's got a few chips. I'm just being super picky because I have a lot of stuff right now in inventory. So let's see. Books. This is the thing I was telling you at the beginning of the video that I noticed they pulled. And it was just Reader's Digest books. Do they think that those are worth a lot? But of course I noticed, right? Because I collect Reader's Digest. So when I saw them taking them out of the cart and putting them back in the back, I was like, no, not my beloved Reader's Digest books. I'm also on lookout for um, golden books right now. I will show you eventually. I have not come up with something new, but I am going to be creating something with them. Um, but I need to find them pretty cheap because the equipment that I'm purchasing is not cheap. So in order to make some profit, the books themselves have to be, you know, 50 cents a dollar, something like that. So, okay, so we are done with all of this section. And there was nothing right there. That's a bummer. Let's see. And they don't really have much of a kid's section of books. So, and the golden books have to be kind of cool and unique. I don't want just a brand new golden book. I don't see any. They're easy to tell because of the golden binding, right? Let's see. We've got all of just the miscellaneous grab bag stuff. Last time I was here, the aisle that has just a ton of like boxes to go through that I never go through because it's daunting was almost completely empty. It's like they just redone, redid them. Oh, 
Blendo glasses, guys. They're not in the best condition. They definitely have some dishwasher wear to them. But I wonder if they could shine up good. They're two dollars a piece. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, that just seems like a lot of money for them. Hmm. But I found Blendo glasses. I found them. I was talking about nothing vintage, but I found something vintage. Oh, I just don't know. I don't know. Well, and oh. Uh, I'm going to put them in here. I never see them. And I have a feeling I could try to clean them up with some TLC. I don't know if I can get all the shine back, but they are just so fun. All right. We're going to hold on to those. That's not old. This is just gaudy when you got the iridescent made in Taiwan. So I'm not super, super old. Okay. We've got some nuns. I don't think they're very old. They're like a resin. Let's see what the what the tag says underneath. No. Okay, all this stuff is just resin. Not not vintage if you're wondering. Someday it will be. We've got a groovy mushroom, but I don't know. We want four dollars for that. I don't think so. Ooh. Yeah, most most black stuff is not going to end up being vintage. That's not vintage. This is super groovy. That one's got to have some age to it, but they want $6. Not doing that. Let's sneak over here to the glass section. Okay, let's see. I've got somebody looking for brass lion. I don't have a brass lion. Just a regular one. These are really pretty amber glasses. These have a very, very pretty design to them. Those have got to be vintage. Again, $2 a piece. I don't know what we're doing here with... Those don't look... They're super heavy. I don't think they have a lot of age to them. This is resin. And these are cute, but not old. My arm is going to die. I'm holding... They didn't have any shopping cards, so I just have a card... <laughs> Hmm. I really like these, but I think I'm going to pass. Okay, so they are clearing out. Maybe they finally figured out. Look at, they just got a whole cart. I hope that stuff they're taking down. They're not adding to it. Okay, I'm going to move out of the way here for a second. That's definitely got some vintage age to it. I want $4 for it. I could maybe, maybe get 10 but it's cute. I like it. All right, I need to go try to find a shopping cart. I will be back. <laughs> I have a cart. All is right in the world now. Okay, this doesn't seem to be too old. Nope, 2003. Let's see another candle. I do not need any more candles. This is cute. I don't think it's very old, though. Lake Tahoe, little piggy bank. Okay, nothing there. A monkey. These are cute little delicate vases. They're cute, but the color isn't, like, amazing. So I'm going to skip on those. What has someone done here? They've created a pretend birdhouse out of books. Cute. Okay, I don't usually look at the glasses. I want to see these. Everything's $2 a piece when it comes to these glasses. They're really cute. These are super cute. Like, more like... Juice glasses, right? So I need, I'm just wondering if any of these are Libby. When they put the price tag right in the middle, you can't see the markings. So I don't know. These I really like. I love the orange, but not enough to. If they were half off, maybe, right? Half off. Okay. So like I said, they took they took the cart back, so they were definitely getting rid of <laughs> of clear glass stuff. Okay, let's go down the next aisle. Nothing basket-wise. Let's see here on the end. At least I'm pleased to see a few things. Like I said, it was pretty sparse. I haven't seen any white price. Oh, there, just when I said I haven't seen any white price tags, there's one. It's got a crack, though, so we will... <laughs> That's why it's still sitting there. 
Let's see, we still have the decorative dishes that nobody really wants. Those aren't really in too high command. This is pretty, it's not old, but it's cute. Okay, nothing there. Oh, they moved some of the, do they move? No, they don't. I don't think they moved the clear glass over here. They just have way too much of it. This is really cool. It's got one little chip there. If you have a 70s kitchen, let's see if it's half off. It is half off. So instead of six, it's three dollars. It's pretty darn groovy. Let's see what the marker on the, the maker on the bottom says. Creative Imports New York, and then it's from Japan. I think I might get that. That's pretty groovy. And um, by the time you're watching this, Reawaken Vintage has started their Facebook group. And we are doing sales twice a week with some other ladies, um, sellers. So it's my, it's been my dream. I've wanted to do this for a super long time. So we'll probably have like a 70s type groovy uh, sale. So we'll have some theme sales, but the first sales are just all vintage stuff. Anything older than um, 1990. So some 80s things from time to time in there as well. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys, if you're on Facebook, you will go um, Google. You're going to want to make sure there's two different reawaken pages. There's my um, sell page, my like store page, and then there's the actual group. And you'll have to request to join. A little Hummel. This is cute, but I just don't sell that much. Oh, this is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think. I don't think it's... Pyrex, but maybe it is. No, it is. Oh, it is. It is Pyrex. Why did I second guess myself? Okay. Gotta make sure there's no issues because I get too excited when I find Pyrex. Okay, that's good. All right. We are doing good so far today. You guys will actually see this video. <laughs> like I said, I have I have been here multiple times and have just not even placed, placed the videos up. That's not bad. But... Let's see down here. Oh, six dollars. I pass for six dollars, but it's cool. All right, back over to this side. All those dishes are pretty new. These are kind of vintage. These, but they're not half off, and they are huge, 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 huge. Okay, let's see. This is a fun vintage '70s or '80s vibe. It's a Corel plate. Okay. Do any of you guys decorate 70s? I know there's some people, but I don't think that there's probably too, too many, right, that actually decorate their homes. I know there's some 50s, stuff like that. But if you do, I would love to hear. These are definitely got an older vibe, 70s or 80s. Mikasa from Japan. They're half off, but they're still a dollar a piece. You've got this one, this one. Yeah, two, I just don't know. They're not that wow. They're cute, but I think we're going to pass. We have to be picky. Can't get everything. Let's see. I like my... Oh, there's another one. I have to... Oh, there's three more. I was going to put them all together for somebody, but that's okay. <laughs> They'll just get moved around again anyway. Let's see. This is cool. Something tells me it's not vintage, though. WCL. I don't know what that stands for. I don't think it's too vintage. This one might be. No, I don't think so. No. Again, a big platter to have to mail to somebody too, all right? <laughs> We've got the little milk glass containers, probably Pyrex. But again, they're just plain white. You could put a decal or something on them, but I just don't think so. And a big teal mug. That would be cool for like succulents and stuff out in the garden. I'll get that for myself. Not selling that. Okay, back to this side. These look like milk glass, but they're not. But they have cute little plates, but I don't need them. Oh, look at all the all the macasa that they had. They've got the plates to go with them. Oh my goodness! Look at that. It's an entire set. Super cute. But again, how many people have people over? and use a tea set anymore, right? In most cases, I think they just, they go in the cabinet, right? As a decorative piece instead. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we might have. This is pretty, but it seems like it would have had a lid and it's got a big chip in it. Okay, it is summertime here. 
the, the teens are out shopping at the Salvation Army. I love to see it. Okay, this is where the Pyrex would be if they had any. Nothing standing out. Nothing standing out. This is really pretty, not vintage, but it's a pretty pie plate. Good for fall. We'll hop over here real quick. Uh, nothing vintage there. Okay, you see anything I don't see, guys? <laughs> uh, this would be just Tupperware if they had any. Let's see what these are. These are just plastic serving plates. They don't, don't even have any age to them. I thought maybe they did. If you like pink Tupperware, I got a couple of, well, I always call them cereal containers, but kind of like this, but it's Tupperware and the lid is pink. So if you're interested in those, you can comment or email me at reawakenvintage at gmail.com. Not melamine, that's new plastic. Don't see any baking stuff that I can't live without. Okay, we'll keep going. There's a cake, Tupperware cake server, but they want $6. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's go over here. We kind of reorganize this show. Look at the puppy. <laughs> That's huge. That's really big. Oh, Yankee candle. Still wrapped up, guys. How much is it? Six dollars. Nope. I mean, that's not a bad deal. Don't, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I want it shortbread. Oh, guys, I might have to get it. Oh, that's crazy for me to spend six dollars, but it's brand new. And you know, Yankee candles, if you know candles, that's they're expensive. So, it's a crazy price for a thrift store price, but what am I going to do? All right, the teenagers are down the next aisle. We will skip that for a minute. This is fun. I think it's just made to look vintage. Yeah, it's not old. These are, these are cool. Got a vintage vibe. There's just one of them there. Let's see. I don't see anything else down there. Oh, I love the teal boxes. Just for me, an organization. Look at those. Those are super cute for Marshalls. Oh, I just don't know what I would do with them. I don't need them. I just like them. <laughs> so that's not... Is that a good enough reason to get something? I don't know. Okay, they're going down another aisle. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> okay. They're shopping mainly for clothes, it looked like. Okay, let's see what's here. Anything vintage? This metal thing, just a metal flower. All right, don't see anything on that side. We've got pictures on this side. Ooh, what are these? Oh, these are funky. They're like puffy. Very, very bizarre. Very interesting. There's a set of two. They're probably from like the 80s. I'll skip on those. Let's see. They didn't have the, that little rack, so they're trying to get themselves organized here a little bit. No. I'm going to skip on that. Some newer art. Oh, oh, Flamingo Christmas. Amy, do you need flamingos for Christmas time? Amy's one of my best friends. Four dollars. Do you need flamingo Christmas? I don't know. It's got a little bit of dirt and marks, so I don't want to give her something that's not in really good condition. We're near the speaker. Just bear with me, guys. <laughs> okay. Alright. Back over to this side. Somebody loves you. That's cute. I have so much decorations for Easter time. I need nothing else. That's cute. It's supposed to look vintage. And it's the same way. I love, I love all the vintage influences now in, in new products. This is... That's interesting. Let's skip on that. I don't know what this is. Is it an abstract piece of art? I don't know what that is. Tell me if you know. Okay, nothing else there that I see. Okay, nothing there. Lots of signs. Let's see, this is. Pampered Chef, or Party Light, not Pampered Chef. But it's just, let's see. Oh, they're cute. What is that on there? 
It's like the party light. Sorry, sir. Like the party light symbol. Huh. That's, that's the guy that puts good stuff out all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, see how like this is, I think this is the party light symbol, or is that just, I have no idea. I think that that's what they are. Like exclusive, I wonder if they were like for people that sold. I don't know, if you know much about party light, I'm not going to get them, but it's just interesting. Okay, mm, don't see anything down there. Okay, did we go here yet? I think I had already been there. Let's see. End cap here. All new stuff. And then what used to be the end cap that had the Christmas stuff. No more. We still don't know why they don't send Christmas stuff all year now. Okay. Oh, they got the boxes back. <laughs> they got new boxes. <laughs> all right. Yep, this is where all the Christmas stuff used to be. It's pretty much gone. I'm not going through all those boxes. There's just no way. Something would have to stand out. Well, yeah, no Christmas stuff. This is a vintage sewing box. I don't think it's empty if it had a bunch of stuff in it. Or maybe it's a file. Yeah, it's... it's oops. <laughs> See if it's like a chalk full. Not just a few things of ribbon. We will skip on that. Oh, this is... Ooh, a sweet sewing basket. That one's really groovy. It's been pinned. I don't know. My question is, how old is it really? It definitely looks kind of old. Right, I'm going to grab that. Okay, so we're doing okay. This is actually really pretty. These are fake shells. Well, that's pretty if you like shells. Janice, your beach theme? <laughs> Okay, this is where I'll get like party napkins and stuff when they're on 50% off. And then I have people over to the house. But I don't see any napkins right now. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we're just about done. Let's go look over at the pillowcases and blankets and we'll see what we can find there. Go over here to the electronics section. We have an old hair dryer. It is cracked, unfortunately. I just love the old teal case and everything about it. It's only $2. But again, I don't know if any... First of all, I don't know if it works. I think this would attach to like the hat that you would wear, and that's missing. And then it's cracked. Darn, for $2, too. That's a good deal if it was in better condition. All right, guys. I think we're just going to do the wrap-up right here rather than waiting until I get home. So we know we got the sewing basket, I got the Yankee candle for myself, the big teal cup for myself, the sugar container, the blender glasses, and a pink little um, planter, and one Pyrex mug. So thanks so much for watching as always. We'd love for you to share us with your friends. And until next time, we'll see you guys later, bye.